Hey there, it's Andrew Ross from Jobber Nation. I'm here with uh, Malcolm Sismore, uh, Country Manager for Delphi Technologies. We're talking about uh, the prospects for the aftermarket with coming electrification and other technologies that are going to help drive our cars on the road. We, we hear a lot about this as a, being a huge impact on the, on the industry, but a lot of people are, are very apprehensive about it. What's, what's your take on it? I think they need to prepare to increase their business. If you think about electrification on a vehicle, it's still an internal combustion engine, right? And for the foreseeable future, every uh, electric vehicle is not pure, will have an internal combustion engine. So if you think about like the i8 BMW, all electric, it has a three cylinder gasoline injected engine in it with three coils, an oil pan with full of fluids, camshafts, you know, uh, ignition, full ignition system, everything that has to be maintained, even a 12 volt battery. Everything we have in a vehicle there has to get maintained. Then add the whole electrification part of it. And think about the inverters and converters and the liquid cooling that they have to have. You think about some of these vehicles have two or three cooling systems on, two or three water pumps, radiators, you know, and the complexity that comes up. You hear talk about, about vehicles and they have less maintenance to be done on them. Easily the diagnosing of issues with that will surpass the amount of money right. a shop will right. generate in right. labor over what's missing in a maintenance side of things. So really be prepared to train, be prepared to buy tools, and be prepared to stock all the parts that are, are going to be required. Business is going to get more. Even think about the uh, turbocharging of engines becoming more and more. You think of a turbocharged engine after the oil changes twice as often as naturally aspirated. Spark plugs could be four times more often. Right. And you look at right. how many more vehicles are becoming turbocharged. I think our business is looking to really be taking off. And people, the only apprehension you should have is, can I spend the time on training? Can right. I spend the time on right. tools? Can I make sure that my customers, if I'm a jobber, are going to be there? So that's the apprehension you should really have is being prepared for it. Right, I mean, one of the things that's going on in the Canadian aftermarket through the, the vehicles in operation is that the vehicle park that a lot of shops are seeing is going to be sort of the same vehicles getting older and older and older and older. Those are going to move through over the next few years. Uh, so the shops, it sounds like, and the jobbers obviously need to make sure that they're prepared for a change that they might not actually see in great order for a little while. Right, think about start-stop engines, okay? They, you know, they're in the aftermarket now, they're getting there. But think about 10 years from now, when there's so many start-stop, second, third vehicle owner, the starter, it goes because it's, it's, it's done a million starts, you can't do it anymore. You know, and someone's got to put a start-stop right, in right, there. Right. Like, there's a lot of things that are, are, are changing. Or think about advanced uh, safety systems. And, you know, you have a vehicle lane departure warning, and the vehicle's now 10 years old and only a half of it works. But if people have been counting on that to work, you're going to have to fix that. Right, right, right. So a lot of technology is going to need some fixing. A lot of training is going to have to take place to make sure you can do that fixing. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a balancing act, for sure, to make sure you're, that the shops and the jobbers push the shops to invest in the training. Uh, but the prospects for those who do that sound like they're really fantastic. Absolutely. Great stuff. Thanks, Malcolm. That's all for me for, for right now. Uh, Take care.